hello viewers welcome to selenium web driver videos myself Rai. if you have any selenium web driver queries you can mail those queries to my mail id udayanamadere.gmail.com you can watch all my web driver videos in my youtube channel or you can go to my blog seleniumwebdriverevideos.blogspot.com in this video i would like to demonstrate about what is page factory or what is page object factory so page factory is an extension to page object model so you can watch my previous video page object model how it works which will help you to understand better about page factory okay let's dive in and see how we can use this page factory i'll be using the same a new tools uh, flight reservation application for this demonstration so we will be using the same login page itself so let's get started so i'll be creating a class called new tools say page factory in this video i'm just demonstrating at an abstract level uh, abstract level of how we will be using page factory we will see other uh, you know other concepts related to page factory in my next videos but in this video i am just giving you an overview uh, overview about uh, page factory and how we will use it so as with our previous example uh, the first three or four lines of code is same where first i am creating a chrome instance and after that i am just navigating to the url and i am just keeping a uh, implicit right all right and afterwards what i will do is in order to use page factory for each and every object we need to create this uh, static web element so what to do here is we will just go to this website and we need to find out some of the properties of that object as you can see I will capture this I will declare an object with that name static verb element and this is the name so this name username will represent to this object so let's see how we can use that yes. adding the required libraries and the next statement is static verb element and i'm going to password field so whatever the name value is there we need to use the same value here and in a similar way static verb element and what is uh, this is the name is login so you need to use that so once you declare this static uh, web element what the first statement that we need to use is we need to use base factory once you just click on it you just need to use init elements method all right so the first parameter is driver whatever you created there and you need to specify the class name of this so basically you just copy this and just click on dot you will see this class okay once you create this space factory dot uh, init element then we can directly use this variable to perform your operations so i'm using this username dot you can see we should get all these methods so i will enter my username as udayanam and the password you are not you need not to specify any by or any other like you know id name or class name or anything if you are using as far as you are using the property of this one either id or name you need not to specify anything else 
so just uh, okay i need to enter password so password dot send keys of my password and once done i need to click on this sign in button so dot click that's it you are done driver dot okay so now in e at this point of time what will happen is once you just create a page factory dot init element then what it will do is any object for example here as you can see uh, we are using this username right so when this statement got executed what selenium will do is which will look out for any object with first which will search with the id property which is having this value if we didn't find out any object with id property then which will go with the name property having this value in entire page that is how which will searches for the object uh, object once it find out that object which will perform whatever the operation that we, uh, we provide here all right so just let uh, uh, execute this script and we will see any other points once we are done with this execution so as you can see chrome instance got started but if you go in this way this is very odd way to write a script like this because uh, as you can see which will take a lot of time to find out that object in this space which will search with an id property among all these objects once you didn't find out then which will search with a name property among with all these objects if it find out with name then after that which entered udayanam whatever the value that i gave there and then which will search us for the password with id if you didn't find out with the id property then again it find out with the name it found out that object and which enters the password now it will it's we searching for the login um, object once it find out it will click on the sign in button and quits as you can see which quit the chrome browser so which looks very easy for you to write a script like this but the code is not readable format and it is which is towards them because if you are going to your multiple pages for example say in the next page i have again a, a username uh, or you might having a, a id same id or name with a different object then that is uh, in order to handle those kind of situation if you write a code like this which is a uh, very difficult to uh, maintain right so this is this kind of thing is very abstract level uh, uh, but we will see some other other ways uh, which have a better handling than what i have shown here that i will be covering in my next video this the intent of this video is to give you an overview of what exactly is space factory all right I hope you enjoyed it watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel to get updated content about web drive videos all right uh, if you really like this content please click on the like button thanks for watching this video